Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if this is your first time visiting, um, my name is Alicia and I had plastic surgery in the Dominican Republic in 2020. And today's topic will be all about what to pack. We have, I've had so many requests for this and I know myself and my surgery sisters both um, watched a lot of videos on packing, but they were mostly from people who were like us and they were um, just packing as well. So I was like, I don't wanna see videos from people who have not been yet. I wanna see videos from people who have already been and to tell me what to bring and what not to bring. So that's what I'm gonna show you today. I actually took a video before I left and I'm gonna do a voiceover on that video, just telling you what I really didn't use out of that stuff and what my surgery sisters used and what I didn't and what was good and what's not. Um, but that is what we're going over today. Also, I will kind of do a body reveal. I am two months post-op going on to, um, I had surgery on um, March 6th of 2020. And right now today is on I'm like over here, March, April, May, May 2020. So I'm right at May 6, 2020. So I'm right at um, two months, but I'm actually a little bit over that as far as weeks go. But I want, so I'll do a little reveal and show you um, what my doctor, Dr. Mejia did for me and how my results are looking. Okay, so uh, first of all, I'm gonna tell you the number one thing that I and my surgery sisters used when we were in the Dominican Republic saying that I guess we didn't even think that would be a big deal, but here it is, you ready? Oh my God, this was the best thing ever. So you can't, if you get a tummy tuck and you get your boobs and you get a BBL, you cannot bend over and pick stuff up because of your waist and you can't put your hands above your head if you get your boobs done. So this is a problem. So if you need to grab something, or if you need to go bend down and get something, you can. And we did have people in our recovery house that uh, pop stitches. So it's very important that you follow these rules. They are there for a reason. I will be doing a recovery house review and I will also tell you there um, what that's about. Okay, so this is the number one. You can purchase these on Amazon. I'll try to attach a link and help you out. But that's the number one thing I used when I was in the Dominican Republic. Um, and as far as a lot of, it's just it's gonna depend a lot when your packing goes, it's gonna depend a lot on if you are staying at a recovery house or if you are staying um, at an Airbnb. And I will go into details about why I, went against the Airbnb and went with recovery house. Um, I don't really recommend bringing your boyfriend. I don't really recommend bringing your husband. This is a time to heal. You're going to feel like you need to entertain them. Um, and having a nurse there isn't the same as having a hospital bed. So I'll go into a big video on that, but I just wanted to touch base on that and say that the packing is going to be very, very different depending on if you're staying at an Airbnb or a recovery house. So this it's going to be more for those dolls that are going into a recovery house like I did personally. Um, in my recovery house at um, Rocio Ortega, they supplied everything. I mean, the chucks um, and everything that we needed for the most part were there. They had everything. Um, so there wasn't a lot of supplies that we needed and the doctors did the dressing changes. So, um, but like I said, I'll go step by step, uh, showing what we, what I had and what I used and what I didn't use. And okay. So we're going to go over this bag and what I did is I put all of the liquids that might need to be seen at the airport into separate bags so that I could get them out quickly. I actually didn't end up even needing to do that because I checked my free medical bag and with doing so, I didn't have to show any of my stuff, of course, because it wasn't um, brought out with the TSA. So here I have everything packed in and I'll kind of go over it individually to show you what I'm using and what I'm not using. Those little packs right there are actually masks and sanitizers that you can use on a plane. There's my lovely um, grabber. That was the best thing ever, as I said just previously. I've got um, 
a bag like i said separately just for all of my medical stuff and that is something that you'll have to check if it has any liquids that are over a certain size so i would recommend making sure to put all of your dermoplast and everything in there uh, that right there is a pump for my avocado and batteries i did not actually we end up blowing that up but it wasn't something we could really use so i wouldn't recommend bringing the avocado float with you i would say leave it at home and use it uh, after your two weeks because you're going to need to use abdomen muscles okay the compression socks i would recommend getting the one with the feet on it um, to get true compression uh, you definitely need a lot of baby wipes, body wash rags, and all of those. I didn't really bring a lot of baby wipes, but my surgery sisters thankfully did, and we end up sharing everything. Um, in the background, you see back there, there's um, your boards and your different things to go under your faja. You only need uh, two of those. You'll only need your ab board and your back board and then you'll need three foams only the soft ones the one that come in the amazon pack are not really needed uh, those are my antibiotics my painkillers and then i have cough drops which are all great i needed all of those you need uh that's tylenol pm which again you'll need gas x and any laxatives you'll also need i would recommend bringing a big bag of the pads for your faja and um, making sure you have plenty of the arnica gel for massages i brought like three or four of those but i could have used probably about 10 really um, your heba cleanse you'll need that and then uh, like i was saying with your foams you need the soft foams not the ones that come with the package on amazon um, i did massage oils and all of my small containers you can really like i said bring larger containers and put them into your medical bag that you can get with most airlines for free uh, i don't think you need the actual um you can bring a neck pillow if you want to but you really don't need any of the um you can get the bobby boppy over in the dominican republic and um just make sure that you pack your medical bag well and i'll kind of glimpse over what you need this is my actual clothing bags i brought a lot of books i didn't really end up reading at all we were all talking and it was pretty loud if i wasn't doing that i was sleeping of course there's your cosmetic stuff you do want to bring makeup there's going to be a day or two that you're going to want to feel nice i guess um out of all the stuff i brought the main things i i used was my uh, robe that I could wear as a dress and any nightgowns and then of course just a few outfits to wear to the doctor's office you want to look cute um, but you got to be able to cover up your faja uh, and it's going to go up high uh, again like I said you can leave your avocado at home because you're not going to really use it until you can get in and out of your um, bed okay and when you're not using your arms especially with your hair uh, if you have your breast done you can't even reach up to do your own hair so let's see what else i have um of course bunches of socks uh, any kind of uh, hy hygiene products and uh let's see those were just like spa masks and stuff like that for me and my surgery sisters we didn't end up using many of them the bbl block i did not use at all i did get a boppy there in dominican republic that worked really well and i loved it and I'm glad I didn't buy one and take one on the plane because it would have been a waste. Some of the things that are missing here, like I said, more baby wipes that you need. Um, make sure to get your painkillers and everything here from your primary care doctor. Um, a lot of people ask me about the safe. I did bring a safe. I could have just done with a fanny pack and been fine. That thing is kind of bulky and heavy. I didn't really like it after all. Uh, but... I was really afraid of my bag getting snatched so I ended up just putting it like under my socks and my shoes and then uh, I put some in my bra you will definitely need a lot of dry shampoo and stuff for your hair because you won't be able to wash it here's another video I did showing everything individually and I went over this just a second ago of uh, the dermaplast I did take in the medical bag. The bromelain I did not need until after. Uh, the shiwi I definitely needed. All of that arnica gel and everything was used. Uh, the bleach, 
cream and the earplugs I did not use at all I used those after I got home so bleach cream is a no you could take the painkillers antibiotics any baby wipes all that will work great you'll need that uh, getting bio oil didn't use it skin oil didn't use it you can use some vanilla oil or scented massage oil for your massages but that's it definitely those compression socks I used all of those I, I would say take at least four pairs and then um, your backboard your doctor will tell you what you need I didn't need that extension cord at all because the recovery house had plenty uh, the little music boxes I listen to the ocean at night and if you need that to stay asleep then uh, and you don't have a roommate you could bring a headset if not I mean the handset but if not bring a headset the foams uh, the good ones are the thick ones and that is about it I was showing you here that the white tank tops are what you want to go under the faja try to have a bunch of those because you will get them dirty and you're gonna need a new one for every massage and sometimes the recovery house doesn't wash every day they usually wash only like twice a week so you'll need um, more of those but I would say at least four or five uh, tank tops to go under your faja and then camis and things like that you're gonna have to remember you're gonna have your um, clip for your um, liquid after your, your ports you're gonna have to clip that onto something so if you have anything like that you can clip things on I had a, a dress robe that closed shut and I use that the fan I did not need it was actually nice and chilly in the place and I used a bunch of um, slides flip-flops and uh, dresses but you're gonna have your compression socks on so you want to make sure not the in between the toes you're gonna need the ones you could just slide your feet in but what else do you need like I said anything that has a rope tie on it to hook your uh, ports onto is good so right now and this is going into my real real video so I'll let you listen and I do have on my Faja still right now and um, my app board. So I actually have about this much worth of um, thickness that is from that. So, and I have on a full Faja, that way it um, helps still compress my boobies and everything else. But yeah, so far I'm happy with everything. Um, we're in the Corona virus time right now so the problem is is that we can't find anybody to do massages and stuff so i've been having to, to make do i'll probably make it some videos on that as well and i'm excited i'm excited for you dolls that have got surgery coming up and uh yeah i'm gonna fingers crossed and hope everything goes well so i will see you guys soon